Dear viewers, greetings. This video is about an introduction to antibiotics. Antibiotics. Antibiotics are the secondary metabolites produced by the microorganisms which have the capacity to inhibit or kill the growth of another microorganisms, uh, particularly bacteria. Antibiotics are low molecular weight non-protein molecules and the term antibiotic was first coined by the scientist Selman A. Waxman in the year 1942. Uh, the penicillin was the first discovered antibiotic. It was discovered by Alexander Fleming from the fungal mold Penicillium notatum, uh, which is currently called as uh, Penicillium chrysogenum, in the year 1928. Antibiotics are used for treating uh, the bacterial disease only. They are not used for treating other microbial diseases. And next source of antibiotics and antibiotics produced from fungi. Uh, majorly three antibiotics were produced from fungi. They are penicillin, griseofulvin and cephalothin. Uh, first the, pen, the antibiotic penicillin was produced from the fungi penicillium chrysogenum which was previously called as penicillium notatum. And the next antibiotic griseofulvin was produced from the fungi penicillium griseofulvin and the antibiotic cephalothin was produced from the fungi acrimonium chrysogenum which was previously called as cephalosporium acrimonium. Like fungi, bacteria and actinobacteria are also able to produce multiple number of antibiotics. Comparatively, actinobacteria can produce more number of antibiotics than the fungi and bacteria. And the antibiotic vancomycin was produced from amico Latopsis orientalis, uh, which was previously called as uh, Streptomyces orientalis. The antibiotic rifampin was produced from Amico latopsis rifamycinica, and the antibiotic basitracin was produced from Bacillus lichniformis. The antibiotic polymycin was produced from uh, Bacillus polymyxa. The antibiotic gentamicin was produced from the Actinobacteria Micromonospora furfuria and the mupirocin was produced from the pseudomonas fluorescens. And next the antibiotic erythromycin was produced from Saccharopholyspora erythrea. And the antibiotic streptomycin was produced from Streptomyces gracious. Uh, the neomycin antibiotic was produced from Streptomyces fradiae. The tetracycline antibiotic was produced from Streptomyces aureophagians. The antibiotic chloramphenicol was produced from Streptomyces venezuelae. The antibiotic Amphotericin B was produced from Streptomyces nodosus. And finally, the antibiotic Ivermectin was produced from Streptomyces avermititis. Uh, here, the Streptomyces belongs to the category of actinobacteria. Based on the spectrum of activity or spectrum of action, antibiotics are categorized into two categories. They are broad spectrum antibiotics and narrow spectrum antibiotics. Broad spectrum antibiotics are the antibiotics that are effective against wide number of bacteria. The very basic and well known example for the broad spectrum antibiotic is streptomycin. Uh, second, the narrow spectrum antibiotics. Uh, the narrow spectrum antibiotics are the antibiotics uh, that are effective against only limited number of bacteria. Example for narrow spectrum antibiotics is penicillin. And next, some of the side effects of antibiotics are mild skin rash or other allergic reactions, mild fever, headache, short term diarrhea, stomach upset, nausea, loss of appetite, and finally, fungal vaginal infection or oral thrush caused by Candida albicans. Finally, uh, some of the severe side effects of antibiotics are uh, severe allergic reaction that results in difficult breathing, uh, facial swelling in lips, tongue, throat and face, uh, severe water or bloody diarrhea, clostridium difficult infection, stomach cramps and finally yeast infection in the mouth and female reproductive organ. That's all about an introduction to antibiotics. Uh, dear viewers, thank you for your support. Thank you.